morning guys welcome back to the channel we're out here in rocky top if you guys didn't catch the first video go check it out the fan i don't know how i'll say it easier than that i took off from the cabin riding the talon didn't go as planned i was hoping to ride the talon all day came back to camp just go just go check that video out lots of carnage some rollovers some rowdiness today same plan taking off from the cabin and the talon and I am, we are hoping to go to the northern side of Windrock and maybe head over to Pea Gravel Hill, Widowmaker, Dragon's Back, Three Leg, that whole side of uh, like Royal Blue-ish area. That's kind of the goal. We'll see how far of a ride it is from Rocky Top. That is the plan. We're gonna hit some, I believe, some 90s numbered trails in Windrock property before we head out that way. Um, but that is the light game plan for today trying to save my machine for tomorrow as we plan on hitting um, Atomic Ridge. So trying to keep the extra alive for that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys aren't subscribed, we'd really appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button. At least comment and like on these videos. It, it helps boost the videos up. I don't understand how it all works, but it helps. And I appreciate you guys doing that house with motivation for me to keep devoting so much time into making these videos anyways we're gonna hit the road and we'll see you guys on the mountain Trail 97, big rock crawl. Yesterday was the worst day we had as far as rain went. So far, 
start, not too bad of a day. Everything's pretty, it's not super soupy and, uh, and, and sloppy just yet, at least where we are right now. I'm sure the sunny side of the mountain is pretty soft and sloppy, but yeah, having fun. It's a pretty cool area we're in over here by the 90s if you're looking for some mediocre trails to kind of crawl around on with good scenery. I'd recommend it. All right, that was a pretty cool rock crawl. Nothing too crazy, but a fun trail. Now to the next one in line, 96. are deceiving it has bigger holes than anticipated anyway here comes justin and the talent oh, with the old oh, boy rock monsters See a jump. Picked a good line and not a jump line. Huh? Sorry, I'm running late. I thought Drew was gonna jump it and I had to get way up there. <laughs> so I didn't die. Instead he showed some driving finesse. Right, he crawled something? Yeah, that since never when? happens. <laughs> since when? Right. <laughs> the f is even that? Brandon's up next with that suburban limo thing we call a Can-Am. You can't get stuck down there. Yes, I can.
yeah. Well, I thought I could just like pick my way through it real easy and make it like a fun hard line. It turns out the holes were deep. <laughs> the four seater cheater himself, Sean. Let's see what line he picks. Got one of them unicorn RS ones. Probably can't hear it do any noise anyway. My ears are ringing. Right, it might have broken <laughs> four times. That was a pretty cool trail. These are both these 90 trails are really short, but it's a cool area. Pretty, pretty medium difficulty. Kind of trying to keep the rigs alive today. For Atomic Ridge tomorrow is the goal. But you guys know how that goes, so we'll see. I think we're heading our way over to uh, like Widowmaker, Dragon's Back, Three Leg, Peak Gravel Hill, that whole area.
Okay, update on the situation today. The rig's on the trailer because Josh's U-joint failed on the drive shaft. So right where it connects to the trans, U-joint broke. Uh, we'll talk about it more at camp when we get this thing tore apart, but pretty sure it's all coming back to the swool again because that's the same spot in the trans uh, that broke you guys have found before um, when Josh messed up the transmission, it was on the pinion gear inside the trans. So he went with the Super ATV drive shaft to hopefully move the weak point outside of the transmission. Now I broke that U joint. Literally, when you guys have been seeing what we've been do doing today, um, nothing major. So I think it's just so bound up being spooled and being on like faster paced, gripped up trails, like dry and a little bit of pavement here and there to connect trails and whatnot. So, anyways. Drew ran back to the cabin on the roads, got back, picked up the truck, trailer, got Josh's rig up on the trailer, threw the talent on the trailer. She's still good to go, but figured I'd just put it on the trailer and ride in the truck back because it's warmer in the truck than in the talent, that's for damn sure. But I believe we found a U-joint, so we just need to pick up a U-joint and then uh, we'll have to fix Josh's rig. Uh, well, here's the problem. It's in there. Well, what's supposed to be in there. The other half is over there. <laughs> you want me to do like Brandon and hit it with a hammer when you're trying to film again? Yeah. <laughs> that right there is your problem, sir. Oof, stuff. It ain't got no grease in it. So, uh, the, the O'Reilly's had the cross U joint that's supposed to fit into Don't mind the, the, the drive Rhino shaft. drive shaft. Yes. So. We will uh, hopefully get that U-joint pounded in and get her back on the trail. China. All right, we are back at the trailhead where we loaded up. Josh is in the rig in the talent, and we are heading back out of the woods, hoping to do Peak Gravel Hill at the Widowmaker up to three pole somewhere, three leg, three pole, three leg, up that direction. Hopefully it goes well. Nightfall is setting in now. I think it's like five, four or five p.m. Somewhere around there. But uh, the rest of the crew running the streets back. It's 6 p.m. Sorry. It's about 30 degrees. Looks like the rest of the crew is mobbing up as we speak now. So I'm gonna get suited up. We're hitting the trails.
All right, so I believe this is Pea Gravel Hill from what I understand. There was Drew, here comes Josh. Stuffed her. Time he breaks some parts, it takes your confidence just like a wee little bit, and then it brought right back. And then it's here, it is. They're back. I don't know much in this world, but I do know that I might have brought the wrong tool for the job. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean on that one. When you look down the hill and you see you're next. That was a sick ride. I now know what it feels like to be Drew. Here comes the mower with Justin. Alrighty, here comes the lawnmower. We told him he's gonna have to be committed. See if he follows through. You got no headlights and pull this in. in the wall.
All right, I just want to jump in here quick and say these next clips here are pretty crappy lighting. Um, I messed with them as much as I could in the editing program to get them better. But just now, as the video goes on, kind of switch over more to phone stuff. This was GoPro, um, and obviously the dusk and nighttime stuff on GoPro just sucks. So we switched over to phones when we didn't have good lighting, and it makes it better. So stick through this Pea Gravel Hill content, and it will be better um, when we get up to three legs. So you won't want to miss that either. It gets pretty rowdy. Justin, I thought for sure there was no way. That was the sick. Tires. They need to heat up. The yeah. tires do well. The tires do very well. They just need to heat up first. Really impressive. Yeah, they're they're impressive. Cody's up. They just need to get heated up. I think. Boy, it looks like a tire rod. She's doing the Duramax the truck. Dirty, dirty. The dirty, dirty. Oh no. And the carnage continues. <laughs> 
We was just at a peak high, folks, and now oh. we're back down again. It's the pin. I got a new one in here. Oh, he's got a spare part with him. <laughs> one in stock. <laughs> we'll be back after this commercial break. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> Pea gravel. <laughs> and we're back. Conditioning and heat. Four. Go. Did you see the oil pan on that one? Yeah. Hey, I bet you ain't got no gap in your oil pan no more. <laughs> All right, we're now going up Widowmaker. Drew's gonna give it a uh, carnage update, maybe. To my knowledge, there's only been three of them up so far on a side by side. We're about to see if we can make number four. Uh, I can see why it's only three. Yeah. <laughs> Got the hole in the bottom of the sea over here. I feel like. Like it broke right there.
getting very pretty, buddy. Let's just try and push it. What do you guys think? Yeah. Update. We pushed it over. It rolled again and landed over there. I don't know if anybody filmed it. <laughs> He's okay. But I think it's broke. But he's got more parts. You got anything to say, Drew? Over down. Over down. We got a wounded warrior. It's in park. Great. Now we get to have this uh, one wheel drive axle all the way back to don't go up that but That's exciting. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that we need the Cobra HDs. We have the H. Or no, 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 sorry. The king. We need the king. We need the king rears. In case they want to give us a hookup on that. Yeah. There she goes. Now she's like, oh no. Okay. Hey, it's over. Rough. Atomic Ridge in the morning. I think.
think everybody's done breaking. The mower is definitely not hitting that one. I think Josh is saving his rig for uh, time of grid. Who saves stuff around here? <laughs> Who saves stuff around here? That sounds boring. <laughs> this guy, unbelievable. We'll see you guys in the morning at Atomic Ridge.